Alright, we're taking out the only game where you can make a bomb so big that it opens up a tear into the void which ends all life in the universe. It's Big Bang Evolution. Big Bang Evolution is a simple game that starts with small bombs that you can then use to unlock more derpy and unibrowed bombs. However, what they don't really tell you is that your bombs go down an evolutionary tree, which splits into another evolutionary tree, which splits into more evolutionary trees, and then you can finally end all of civilization with things like the sound of the void or merciless entropy. Obviously, the, si the simple stuff seems like galactic wars and, you know, endless power, but I want the sound of the void, which is brought to you from the powers of disharmony, which I guess we have to get through to the steam era. Now, the idea here is simple. We just force all of our different bombs to mate over and over again so that they give birth to more bombs. I don't understand why all of the bombs are unibrowed. Except for that fuse bomb. Maybe we have, at this point, evolved past the unibrow. Oh, I just want a lot of money. I don't even know what that does. Oh, I can buy more bombs or just upgrades. Uh, yeah, give me all this. Yeah, I've, I've got, I've got the money. Just, yeah, keep it rolling. In fact, if we could just keep buying this all the way down to zero, that would be fantastic. A million coins! Why do I have a feeling like this is one of those games where numbers stop meaning anything after like 30 minutes? This is the creature that's unlocked to end this era. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess keep, keep throwing those bombs on the ground for me. It makes my job a lot easier. And thus, once we combine two of the shell bombs, we move into grenades and we move into the new era, which is modernity. Modernity. Whatever it is. Modernity. How much closer am I to opening up the void? Oh, we're getting there. Oh, the steam air is coming up. Why is there a very creepy man that looks like he enjoys skinning teenagers, gripping a bag filled with gems? Oh. Boosters. Super income. Yes. Bomb boom. Yes. Discount bombs. Sure. I guess the other thing too is if you're ready to give your fingers a workout You can just click on the bombs and get a lot of money very very quickly now Obviously right now the money is only between 1.4 K and 4 K doesn't seem like that much, right? I somehow get the feeling though that things are going to become ridiculous very quickly I love how all the bombs also have fantastic teeth. How much are you worth for me to beat up with my thumbs? Ah 9,000 to 3,000. We're actually gonna get our million very quickly, which is what I want because we need to continue to unlock the speed of the generation of more bombs. 900, there you go, there's your million. Uh, yeah, keep it rolling. Okay, now that we've steroided up the bombs, they're starting to come much faster. All right, what happens when you put two landmines together? It turns into a Sharkpedo. It's like the slightly scarier cousin of Sharknado. Oh, there's maps? You are here. I'm on Earth, but I don't have to be on Earth. Oh my! I got the numbers. Uh, sure, give me a mission. 44 million to complete the mission? Wow, money really doesn't matter in this game. Oh, you need that much money to unlock the new map. $826 billion, huh? Oh my god. Money is good. <laughs> Bomb from the atom. Oh, so I get a better bomb when the atom explodes? You got it. Oh, now it's starting with the cowboy bombs. Fantastic. This gets us closer to ending all life in the entire universe. All right, two shark pedos coming together. The bombs are screaming at me the, like the better I make them. This bomb is just defaming me or something. It's an anti-tank bomb, but it's very, very verbal. It is a verbally abusive anti-tank bomb, but it does make me a lot of money. Okay, the bombs that come out of here, I have now upgraded to the point where they immediately move on to the next stage because we're gonna need a lot more upgrades to eventually enter the void. Well, I say enter, what? Oh, tap creatures, okay. Is this, is this doing something for me or? Oh, I got 17 million dollars just for doing that. All right, two tank bombs turns into a rocket that's slightly happier than the tank bombs. I guess that's great. The emotions are getting better from these creatures and they make me even more money now. Yeah, Adam time goes up. Adam time goes burr. Don't you worry, rocket. You'll never have to be alone because now you're a like kind of overweight bomb with a pair of sad wings on his back. 
It's like the Cupid of bombs, I guess. Tap creatures for lots of random amounts of money. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the Steam era. A new era has begun. These, this era is obviously way more judgmental than the last one. I have now unlocked a thermal rocket. I have a feeling like we're moving past the steam era very quickly as we go into a diesel barrel with what looks like Darth Vader's belt. Hold on, where, where, where do we go through here? Okay, and then the power of disharmony, that seems fantastic. Then eventually it goes down to the sound of the void. Oh, and in case you're wondering how much money one of these is when you click on it. Look at this, 781,000. Clockwork Wick. It's like the dollar store version of John Wick, only it's a lot more violent. I almost have my first billion dollars. I just need 800 more billions of those. I'm now getting over a million every once in a while from tapping on this thing. I love that. I love that it gives you the gold per second amount and it's 670,000K. Well, this is about to happen. What is this? Oh, it's an airship! <laughs> oh, God. I love the soul patch that it has underneath its chin. Who would want to ride inside of this thing, I guess is the real question. Oh, I can now just buy the steam grenades. Well, yeah. I have so much money that it really doesn't even matter. Like, buying these things is so trivial. All right, two steam, whatever this is, steam ship bombs. The soaring destroyer! <laughs> Oh my god! I, I also really enjoy that it has like a coin slot in front of it. It looks like you put some money in and you get like a pack of M&Ms out or something. So the power of disharmony is where we're going. I, the psycho attack is something I might have to do in another time, but I kind of want to know about the power of disharmony because this is what will bring us to- Is that like a squid with- like boobs or something? <laughs> what is that on the right? I think there's speakers on the chat. <laughs> okay. I mean, this gets us to the sound of the void, so this is definitely the right path to be on. So this creates the abusive rocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, so not only do the bombs become more powerful, but the names of these creatures just gets better and better as time goes on. The abusive rocket. Okay, and the abusive rocket turns into the pop bomb. So it's just like the Taylor Swift of bombs. This is what I have created. I guess, so Taylor Swift is going to bring us into the void. This seems so appropriate, I can't wait. What is a, what is a Taylor Swift bomb worth? Oh my God. It is 25 million. And every once in a while, 75 million. A few seconds later. So I went ahead and got $1.2 trillion because I wanted to open up Callisto because apparently everything here is tripled in its amount. You have to go through the ages, but I have so much money now that it happened so fast. We're basically already 67 trillion, 134 trillion when you click on this thing. I mean, yeah, 4.1 trillion, sure, why not? Yeah, keep it rolling. Uh-huh, yeah, a couple billion, no big deal. Hold on, what do you need for the next one? 190.2 AB? That's like my blood type. I'm not gonna lie, I am really hoping for the Darude Sandstorm Bomb to eventually come. In case you're wondering, the numbers now for the gold per second are 111.4 trillion, because this is real math. Tap creatures. So how much money, if we were getting, whatever, like 64 million before, how much my- oh! 372.3 AA! Wonderful! You know what to do! Unleash the airship bomb! Alright, we're already back to the Soaring Destroyer, which, uh, you know, gives the AAs now, which is great, because I'm spending it all on more bombs to make this go by a lot faster. So we just go to the bombs, and then we buy all these, like this, and then we unlock all this, and just like that, we're ready to roll back into the power of disharmony era. Ah, abusive rocket, my old friend. I'm so glad that we've got- that we'll get to see each other again. Tap the creatures for made up numbers! Yeah! Right, I can't quite buy disharmony yet. Alright, let's put them together. Two Taylor Swifts turn into 
the Michael Jackson microphone. This is the Shure SM7B. It's the microphone that I use to record YouTube. It's also worth that much money when you click on it. We're only, what is this, like three upgrades away from whatever happens to when you reach the sound of the void. I don't want you lesser bombs getting in the way of my money making. Stop crawling over here. I don't love you anymore. You are low tier bombs. Okay, you're like, you're like low 99 cent store bombs. I want the premium bombs. Okay. Over to the rock bomb. All right, how much is death metal worth in this day and age? Oh, about 103.5 AA. You know what? I'm gonna do it. So I found out the whole point of these upgrades now. So you come here to your next world, you gain the stupid levels of money that has app that's there's no linear amount of money to be made here. It is completely exponential. Now that you have a lot of it, you go back to your old world. I could probably just go to Earth and do this. And we have basically infinite money to buy these creatures here. Whatever, yeah, give me all of them. That means that we can put two of the rock bombs together, which allows us to upgrade to the polyphony of death. Give me all the abusive rockets. All of the, I never thought I would say this ever. I intentionally want as many abusive rockets as humanly possible. Because now, I love how there's a little skull too when you upgrade to it. All right. The seven trumpets of the apocalypse. <laughs> Obey, you have completed the sound of the void. And at that point, all that happens is the seven trumpets of the apocalypse just gets multipliers as you put more and more on the stack. Well, I just use music to subjugate and then destroy the entirety of all civilization. That's fantastic. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Big Bang Evolution. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.